final accounts passing adjustment and closing entries dear students today let us learn about how to set out various assets and liabilities of a trader in a balance sheet and to pass necessary adjustment and closing entries prior to preparing the balance sheet and to finally solve a problem on final accounts namely to prepare trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet from the trial balance of a concern first let us know how to make the headings of the accounts the student should carefully study the method of dating the financial accounts which is an important point the trading and profit and loss account being a summary of the transactions relating to trading during a given period should always be headed as under trading and profit and loss account for the year ended such and such date on the other hand a balance sheet being a list of balances outstanding on the books of a trader on a particular date should be headed as under balance sheet as at certain date the name of the trader must always prepare, always appear at the head of the final accounts how to set out assets and liabilities we will now proceed to discuss the important points in connection with the several assets and liabilities that usually find their place in a trader's balance sheet cash at bank this item would represent the bank balance as shown by the bank columns of the cash book if this balance differs from the bank balance as per the pass book a reconciliation statement would have to be prepared to verify its correctness investments ordinarily these will appear at cost price and temporary fluctuations in value need not be brought into account if however the market value shows a tendency towards a permanent fall it would be advisable to provide for such depreciation in the value of of the investments in any case the basis of valuation cost of market price should be clearly indicated on the balance sheet when the market value of the investments is lower than the cost price and the investments are shown at cost it is desirable to append a note in the balance sheet stating what the then market value was any provision made in regard to the loss in the value of investment should be shown by way of deduction from the book value of the investments if the investments consist of gilded securities as also stocks and shares the value of each of these should be separately shown under distinct subheads accrued interest if any due on the investments up to the period covered by the account should be calculated and brought into account sundry debtors this item always means the sum total of the amounts owing from the trade debtors that is the customers if there are any debtors for la- loans granted by the trader such loan debtor should be distinguished from the trade debtors all debts known to be bad and irrecoverable must be written off the provision if any made for doubtful debts as also for discounts on debtors should be shown by way of deduction from the book value of the debtors in order that the estimated realizable value of this asset may appear in the outer column bills receivable this item will represent bills receivable not matured at the date of the balance sheet if there is any overdue bill the same would be reversed to the personal account of the acceptor concerned and the provision in regard to such doubtful debt should be made if necessary stock in trade this item should be very carefully valued and any overvaluation should be guarded against the basis accepted as sound and correct is cost or market price whichever be the lower at the date of the balance sheet cost price would be necessarily included in the invoice price plus duty freight carriage invoice etc the basis of valuation should be indicated on the balance sheet proper allowances should be made while valuing unusable or damaged stock patents copyrights trademarks etc these and similar assets should be valued on most conservative basis the whole cost of patents or copyrights should be written off within the period of their probable life but if any of these are obsolete and cannot be utilized or if the products prove to be unsaleable the value of such patents copyrights etc should be ignored for the purpose of balance sheet valuation in other words these assets should not appear in the balance sheet at anything beyond their utility value to the concern in question furniture and fixtures these should be brought in balance sheet at the original cost 
less a reasonable amount in respect of depreciation. Loose tools. These are generally re revalued at the end of the each year and the difference between the book value and the valuation figure is written off as a depreciation. Plant and machinery. This item must be shown at its original cost in file inner column and the provision in regard to the depreciation should appear by way of deduction from the cost. It is not desirable method to show the asset at the cost price on asset side and the provision in respect of depreciation on the liability side. The advantage of showing the depreciation amount by way of deduction from the original cost lies in the fact that the present utility value of the asset can be seen at a glance. Once the entire cost of equipment and installation under this head is debited to this account, it should be seen that only purchases of additional plant and amounts expended on improvements resulting in enhancement of the revenue earning capacity of the existing plant are subsequently capitalized. All other amounts expended by way of renewals, replacements or repairs to maintain the plant in its original efficiency will be charged off to revenue. Freehold Land and Building It is desirable to distinguish between freehold and leasehold property. The asset should be shown at the original cost less a reasonable percentage in respect of depreciation on building. Freehold land, as a rule, does not depreciate. If the value of such asset has appreciated, it is not desirable to bring up the book value to, the, to its present market price and thus take a credit for an unrealized profit. Leasehold land and buildings. The original cost as also any additions to such asset should be written off during the period of the lease so that by the time the lease expires, its book value also may be reduced to zero. Repairs should be charged off to revenue account of the year in which they are made. Liabilities. The amount owing to suppliers of goods at the end of the financial period is usually shown under the heading of trade creditors or creditors on open accounts. Bills payable, creditors for loans borrowed, bank overdraft and outstanding liabilities for expenses should each be shown under its distinct heading. Creditors holding any securities from the trader must be separately shown with a statement of the securities pledged or assets mortgaged. Capital. The difference between the total of the assets and the total of the liabilities at the date of the balance sheet will represent the capital of the trader as at that date. This item will have to be shown in detail as under. Capital at the commencement of the period. Add further amount brought in. Add interest on capital. Add net profit. Less withdrawals. Less interest on withdrawal. The net amount should go to the outer column as the capital. Illustration. After passing the necessary closing and adjusting entries, prepare trading and profit and loss account for the year and balance sheet as at 31st March 2021 from the following trial balance of a manufacturer. Here is the trial balance, debit side all expenses and assets, credit side all liabilities and incomes are there. By totaling the trial balance, it is matching. And then after that, with the we, with the taking of the trail balance items, we need to prepare the final accounts, making the adjustments as under. Right to depreciation of plant and machinery at 5%, of loose tools at 15%, and furniture at 5%. The stock on hand on 31st March 2021 amounted to 60,000 rupees. Provide a 2.5% for discount on sundry debtors and 5% for doubtful debts. Rupees 1,500 were due for wages and rupees 450 for salaries for the month of March 2021. The last bill of rupees 400 for taxes was for the half year ending 30th June 2021. For the above, we need to pass the following adjustment entries. 1. Right to depreciation of plant and machinery at 5%, of loose tools 15%, and furniture at 5%. Provide 5% for doubtful debts on sundry debtors. Provide 2.5% for discount on sundry debtors. Rupees 1500 were due for wages and rupees 450 for salaries for the month of March 2021. 5. The last bill of rupees 400 for the taxes was for the half year ending 31st June 2021. And further, the following closing entries need to be passed by transferring all the balance belonged into trading account and profit and loss account from the trial balance. 1. Transfer all expenses relating to trade to trading account that is 
stock in trade materials purchase returns inwards wages coal and coke carriage inwards oil grease and wastage gas and water to transfer all incomes relating to trade to trading account that is sales returns outwards etc 3 transferring the closing stock at the end of the year to trading account 4 transfer all expenses relating to business to profit and loss account such as salaries rent rates and taxes repairs and replacements general expenses carriage outwards advertisement printing and stationery discounts and advances bad debts and depreciation 5 transfer the net profit to capital account after arriving at the net profit after preparing the profit and loss account adjustment entry 1 write off plant and machinery at 5% off loose tools at 15% and furniture at 5% for this, we need to pass the adjustment to general entry like this. Depreciation account data to plant and machinery, to furniture and fixtures, to loose tools. Plant and machinery, 5% of the cost. 40,000 is the plant and machinery cost, 5% comes to 2,000. Furniture and fixtures, it is 1,200 is the cost and 5% of that comes to 60 rupees. Loose tools, 3,000 is the cost and 15% we have to write off so it comes to 450 total comes to 2510 so depreciation account debit with 2510 and credit with plant and machinery furniture fixtures and furniture loose tools respectively adjustment entry number two provide five percent reserve for doubtful debts for this we need to pra we need to debit a profit and loss account data 2250 to reserve for doubtful debts 2250 the cost of this Sunday data is 45,000 and 5% of it comes to 2,250. So, we need to pass this adjustment entry to be effected into the final accounts. Third adjustment entry. Provide 2.5% for discount on Sunday data. For this, we need to pass discount and allowances to data 1,068.75 to reserve for discounts 1,068.75. The working is as under. Cost of Sunday data is 45,000. And we have to deduct 5 percent reserve for doubtful debts 2250. The netting comes to 40,750. On this 40,750, we need to provide 2.5 percent reserve for discount on debtors. It comes to 106,875. So, this is the general entry we need to pass. Fourth adjustment entry rupees 1500 were due for wages and rupees 450 for salaries for March 2021. For this, we need to pass the adjustment entry. Wages account data 1500, salary account data 452, to outstanding wages and salaries 1950. Fifth adjustment entry last bill for rupees 400 for taxes was for the half year ending 30th June 2021. So, for this, we need to pass this uh, adjustment entry. Prepare the rent and taxes 200 to rent rates and taxes 200, being the 200 rupees. Uh, Prepaid on tax rent, rates, rates, and rent rates and taxes. The 400 is the total amount of the bill, and then uh, this comes for half year. So divided by six into three for the for the last quarter of the year 2021, it comes to 200 rupees. Closing entries. Closing entry number one: transfer of expenses relating to trading, transfer to trading account. Trading account data 1,21,300 to stock in trade opening stock 40,000, materials purchased 51,000, returns inwards 2,000, wages 21,500, coal and coke 5,000, carriage inwards 1,000, oil grease and waste 600, gas and water 200, total comes to 1,21,300. These are the balances extracted from the trial balance through this closing entry. We transfer all these items to trading account, being the being the transfer of the above items to trading account. Second closing entry: transfer the incomes relating to trade transfer to trading account. Sales account data one lakh fifteen thousand. Returns outwards two six five zero to trading account one lakh seventeen thousand six fifty, being the transfer of the above items to trading account. Third adjustment entry. Transferring the closing stock at the end of the year to trading account. Stock in trade closing stock data 60,000 to trading account 60,000 being the transfer of the above item to trading account. Fourth closing entry. Transferring all expenses relating to business to profit and loss account. Profit and loss account data 
18378.75 to salaries 5450 rent rates and taxes 2600 repairs and replacements 1800 general expenses 800 carriage outwards 500 advertisements 500 printing and stationery 450 discount and salaries 2568.75 bad debts 1200 depreciation 2005-510 being the transfer of the above items to profit and loss account closing entry being the transfer of net profit to capital account profit and loss account debtor 35721.25 to capital account 35721.25 in the next lecture we will discuss about final accounts problem and solution along with adjustment and closing entries